this video I'll demonstrate how to remove a desktop front panel this is the front panel now why would you want to remove a front panel to have access to the DVD drive and if he wants to clean the front or install a drive you would have to remove the front panel but doing so you have to be very carefully careful <clears throat> because the power button is connected to the face plate so you have to be very careful no not on all desktops it's like that but it's like this on this one most of them when you take out the front panel the power button would be on the chassis and the light would be on the chassis in saying this before we begin if you're new to this channel please subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos I do post a video every Friday if God is willing and if you have any comments please leave in it in the description below this desktop has thumb screws four thumb screws on each panel in one of the, my previous videos I showed how to remove this panel but to get to the front panel you would have to remove both side panels so let's begin yours might have the screws it may have a latch but this one has thumb screws you would place your hand on the side panel like this and pull it towards you and then remove some of them would be a bit harder to come out which you would have to play with it like this and now inside the panel you see it has some split wedges it has one two three yours might have these split wedges or it might have screws you have to have a visual to see what your shaft your front panel is hooked or how it's hooked up it has the same on this side but with this desktop you could either you have to squeeze them together and push or just pull out just put something in between it and pry it out as I stated you would have to inspect yours to see what it's attached to now if you notice let me turn it on the other side if you notice the, the wires are in here holding holding it you see so you you would have to be very very careful in taking out 
your front panel that you don't damage the wires or you may have to disconnect your wires here so the panel would be able to come out now with this case I don't have to take out the front panel to change the drive but I would have to take out both side panels because there is a screw here and there is a screw on the other side when putting the panel back you simply have to line up the holes and squeeze it in and it fits in if you notice the screw here it holds the DVD drive and it's on the uh, other side now with this case all I have to do is take out the two side panels take out the two screws and push the drive forward the drive could only go in and out one way through the front if you try taking it out inside the case you have this power supply you have the memory sticks plus the CPU fan in its way so the only one way to take out the DVD drive is through the front now at the beginning of the video I uh, forget to mention you would have to disconnect all your cables which I would have the steps in the description for you putting back your panel this is the lip you place make sure you line up everything you could either have it upright or have it lying down now because of the cables that pass inside here it's not fitting the way it should so I would have to put it to lie down put some pressure onto it and push it in place it's as simple as that when removing and installing your panel you would have to have a visual if you cannot remember where certain things come out take a picture so something you could fall back to and placing the other one you just simply place and slide and you put your screws back this is all there is to it just if you're not sure of how to take out the panel you could google it this is a MSI case but a Biostar board I usually build my systems or if somebody wants me to build a system for them I would do that this is it for this video if you find it was helpful please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos 
until the next one in the next video i will troubleshoot uh a desktop that's not coming on until the next one goodbye